Let's talk about home security. For too many people, home security isn't worth talking about until it's way too late. They get too caught up in their daily grind to actually recognize that there's a potential threat. They don't think about it until they're thrown into a situation protecting their assets, farm, their home, their family, and themselves. Think about the things you always hear victims say. It was such a nice neighborhood, or he was such a nice kid, I never expected anything like that to happen. What that says to me is that they weren't prepared. I'm not asking you to walk around in fear every day, but you have to be aware of reality. If you think people who decide to protect themselves are crazy, you either have not been in any situation that's prompted you to feel that way, or you're completely ignorant to your surroundings, because bad things happen all over the country and all over the world. If you choose not to be prepared for those situations, no one is gonna criticize you. But it's unacceptable to deny or limit someone else's home defense preparedness. Can you guarantee me and the American people zero crime? Absolutely not. So stop limiting their ability to survive. Recently, President Obama talked about how Michelle said if she was living in Iowa, she'd want a gun too. Why do you need one in Iowa and not in the city? A bad guy's a bad guy and a threat is a threat, no matter where you are. Whatever the situation is, whether it's the explosion in Boston, or a stabbing, shooting, or a violent crime, these things are gonna to continue to happen. And when you're faced with that situation, you're gonna be looking to those who are prepared. When these life or death situations occur, what difference does it make to anyone whether that potential victim has 10 rounds or 100 rounds, or a bolt action or a semi-automatic? Absolutely none. And we as Americans should be doing everything we possibly can to let people in this country protect their families, their homes, and themselves the way they feel comfortable, and not how some politician, celebrity, or anyone else tells them to.